hey guys welcome back to another review of married to medicine la this is season two episode three and this was called home wrecking housewarming home wreckers <laughs> i just finished filming and uploading insecure's review by the time you see this it'll probably be the next day but make sure you go check that out for me and make sure you subscribe talk to me in the comments i want to talk to y'all like y'all watch the videos but y'all talk to me talk to me i want to talk to y'all so this episode starts off primarily with um dr kendra and dr Britton. they're driving in the car um and dr kendra is just talking about home life with the new baby um she talks about how at home at work she's like you know she does everything like she knows her job. She can write out prescriptions. Y'all, when she said that, it made me come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor. And he writes out all of my scriptures. I don't know why that made me think of that when <laughs> she said that. But she was saying at home, she's like an intern. Like, she knows all of the professional side of it. But it's different when you're placed in that um, position of taking care of a baby all the time like she can do the medical part but i thought that was that was interesting like she's being very open about her struggles being a new mom um i did notice that kendra dr kendra is not with the fashions but i'm going to attribute that to her just having a baby i didn't like her first episode but I, she's really grown on me like aside from dr imani like i think she might be a favorite like i like her like i want to see more of her in her family they're sitting in a furniture shop and they talk about how um dr kendra didn't believe that dr Britton was african-american and dr Britton explains her mom is i want to say yeah her mom is african-american and her dad is polish and she was like when i opened up my mouth <laughs> it didn't make sense because that's a black woman okay dr Britton is a black woman baby all she had to do is open up their mouth um and they kind of share that experience that a lot of people don't think that they're black, but they're black women. Dr. Ken Dr. Kendra is down for the cause, okay? She's about the melanin doctors, and I am here for that. I like Dr. Kendra. I'm telling y'all, first episode, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like her, but I do like her. And then it jumps to Shanique. Um, she gets home from work, and she goes straight to cooking. Her husband comes in with their son. Their daughter is uh, spending the night with a friend, and she's overwhelmed by it and he notices and he does ask to help and baby i am y'all baby glad my wig wasn't on because it would have flew off because last week he was just like like he wasn't helping her so this week he did ask like can he help her and so he it was a cute little scene of them cooking um she he asked her if she's happy and she kind of beats around the bush but she still hasn't told him that she's interested in a new job like from property managing to being a realtor i believe um then we jump over to kendra's mom kendra's mom is not with the shits okay kendra's mom is so freaking funny and she talks about how she grew up in a military home baby and you grew up in a military home you know like things just it's very strict i was i grew up in a military home kendra's telling her mom like hey like i want you to make some native food and she's like these girls have had to try it like it's la like mama is not here for it mama's like i do not want to cook like i just want to hold the baby and take care of the baby mama is not here for it then mama told kendra and i didn't agree with this with mama i like mama on everything else but you know when you get old they get set in their ways and she believes like kendra has to stop breastfeeding in order for, in order for her to have it all like um i don't have kids but i know like that's something i do want to experience is breastfeeding my child and i do hear from other people that you know it, it, it's a lot like you have to stop and pump or you have to stop and feed your baby um there's an attachment that your baby has to you um that doesn't make it easy for you to leave for long periods of time. So her mom was like, you just gotta stop breastfeeding. Like, and she's giving all these examples. Basically, Kendra's like, no, I really wanna breastfeed my baby. Like maybe I wouldn't have all these sicknesses if you would have breastfed me. <laughs> baby, Dr. Imani, 
comes into their restaurant serving us down. Like, mama looks great. Okay. Um, she meets up with Leah. I do like Leah. Leah seemed like she got a little hood to her. I like her. Um, her husband is a psychiatrist. Uh, Dr. Imani states that she likes her because she's not your typical doctor's wife. Like, she, like doctor's wife. She has multiple businesses and she can respect it. Discussing Britain's birthday party and you know Imani brings up they, they bring up the fact that Jasmine and Shanique was so pressed about her husband and she did mention that she feels like Jasmine is sweet and means well but if she didn't know her she would think she's a messy ass bitch but like you know her she's still a messy ass bitch to me and then they were talking about you gonna run into the wrong one on the right day or you gonna run into the wrong one on the wrong day like so it's like you're bringing like you're i think i could have more respect for jasmine if she just outright was like not trying to have a fake friendship with imani but just stated like hey like i want you to feel like i feel last season like i would have so much more respect for her but other than that like i don't really have respect for jasmine because she uses Shanique as a puppy. And I wish like Shanique if she just left Jasmine alone. So it jumps. <laughs> so mama didn't want to cook, but when Dr. Kendra's um chef gets there and he's cooking all of the food, mama is coaching him, telling him what to do. And I'm like, Mama, mama, you didn't want to cook. You didn't want to cook, mama. So I'm gonna need you to go have a seat, mama. Go take her to baby. Go change your diaper. Cause you didn't want to cook. That's just like old people like. They don't want to do it, but baby, they're going to complain the whole time and they're going to nag because they don't want nobody else to do it, but they don't want to do it. <laughs> um, Dr. Brittany, Imani, Dr. Brittany, Imani, and Mac meet up um, before the housewarming and they're talking about Phil and Phil being absent. Um, Mac did bring up that they went on a trip like a month and a half ago and Phil wasn't there, Imani went alone, and doc, and this is in their confessional, and Dr. Britton's like, mind your business, like, that's not our business, and that they're not gonna judge, it's a judge-free zone. And then there was a part where Dr. Imani was like, yes, I'm vain, like, who isn't? It's a, if you don't love you, who gonna love you? If you don't love you, who gonna love you? So I'm, I'm with Dr. Imani on that, like, if you don't think you're the shit, ain't nobody else gonna think you're the shit. Period, cool. So Jasmine and Shanique are getting ready, and of course, Jasmine mentioned she wants to confront um, Dr. Imani. Feels like when she reaches out, there isn't any conversation, but then it jumps back to Dr. Imani. And Dr. Imani was like, They both have my number, but they never reached out to me. So Jasmine kind of made it seem to me that she's reached out to Imani outside of their group events. So don't try to call her fake if you haven't tried to reach out. Like, and if you have, let's see the receipts, boo. So I did notice that Dr. Kendra's house is in Baldwin Hills. And growing up, I did watch the show Baldwin Hills. So I was familiar with this, it. like the Black Beverly Hills. But it's something I didn't know um, when Dr. Imani said that some of the Black celebrities back in the day, they could afford the Beverly Hills, but they weren't allowed to stay in Beverly Hills. So they went to Baldwin Hills. And... Um, that was a history moment for me. That was pretty nice. I did not know that. And then she talks about Rodeo Drive. Like, that. I guess they changed it to Obama Boulevard or something like that. And she was like, in, in the hood, they call it Rodeo. But, you know, it's Rodeo. So I thought that was a little history lesson. Thank you, Dr. Imani. Um, they get to the housewoman. The food setup looks uh, freaking amazing. It was an awkward-ass high between... Imani, Jasmine, and Shanique, of course. Baby, Leah's romper was... I like Leah. Leah got a little spice to her. Britton gives um, Kendra a housewarming gift. And <laughs> she opens it. It is a picture of Britton serving face, honey. Britton is serving face for the gods and i said on my next housewarming any of my friends are watching that are moving i am going to serve you a picture of me what better gift than me um so i thought that was really 
so Kendra is talking about how she's having after baby blues and you know she's feeling guilt because she's a doctor like she's a full-time OB and I did like that Dr. Imani and Dr. Britton like uplifted her in that moment and really told her like you're a badass like you got this like and she even felt that she loved that it was coming from the black women and again like that just made me feel so warm and fuzzy and Dr. Britton was like she tells her kids like mommy saves lives and daddy just builds things and you know it's always cool like oh my dad like oh my mom is a doctor and my dad is a doctor or, you know like your kids look up to you like you're their greatest superheroes but then Shanique and Jasmine were talking Shanique then gets up being a puppet and goes and calls all the other ladies in the house and I'm thinking in my head like this is not the time or the place like this is a this this lady is trying to make her house warm trying to make it warm and here you guys go like being messy boots like get out the door here we go again Jasmine is saying that she doesn't feel like Dr. Imani's apology is sincere Baby, she been apologizing since season one. What what more do you want? What more do you want from her? Like, I don't, ain't no more apologizing. Like, everybody, like, even, like, Kendra, I mean, even um, Britton and Leah was just like, why does she have to keep apologizing? And she's like, I'm done apologizing. And I feel her. And I'm so tired of Jasmine talking about we're friends. Like, can we stop using this friends word so loosely? Like, it's okay to say associates. Like, friends aren't built overnight. Like, that whole we're friends and she's supposed to be able to talk to me. Like, you're messy. Like, Imani reveals to them that, you know, her husband went to Oklahoma to open up basically like a little marijuana place. And she's just like, this Jasmine. You might don't care. She's like, yeah, and I'm living in a drug dealer's house now. Like, she flipped the joke on her. And um, she said, I did catch that when people say it's a whole 360, y'all do know that's the full circle. A 180 would be a change. Kendra's husband is so adorable. Um, she tells him to go and try to lighten up the mood. He grabs a mic out of the, what's they called, coffee table and he's giving a speech. I thought he was about to sing a song or something. I would have been no more good. And they're all like so confused and he's giving this speech and he's sick. So he has his quarantine mask on and <laughs> all they could do is laugh at that moment. So then Shanique, Shanique is pissing me off because Shanique is sitting on this lady's chair with her feet all in the chair. Like you in somebody else's house, man. Like Act like you got some sense. Act like you got some home training. Like, why are you trying to be messy? Like, you you trying to be messy. Like, her and Jasmine annoy the hell out of me. Get a storyline. Um. So then it flips back at the end of the episode. Shanique is trying to tell her husband that she wants to leave property management for real estate. You know, she's been having her license, which is good. Like, you can tell she's educated. I like when she's oh, separated from Jasmine. Um, and her husband just doesn't support her. And we saw this last season. And it's just like, he's like treating her like she's a kid. Like, I need a list of everything that you want um, or how you're going to get to this. And I, I just didn't like that. Then he, then he was like, then I'll support you. No, you should support me regardless. Like, I bear your children. I still do all this stuff around the house. I would have more time if I became a real estate agent. And he just kind of treated her like a child. And I did not like that. So I'm interested to see where that goes. So again, thank y'all for watching. Um, that was pretty much the episode. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Love you guys.